Hi there guys, my name is Danielle. You can call me Danny and welcome to my channel. Today I'm gonna to be doing a full face of LA Colors makeup. Not LA girl, LA Colors. What actually inspired me to do this video was a YouTuber named Juicy Jays, she or Juicy Jazz. She is really cool. I actually just discovered her, but I have been obsessed with her lately. And I'm sorry if you can hear rubbling upstairs. Um, I have no idea what they're doing. <laughs> but basically, she did a full face of LA Colors as well, and it got me really inspired to do one because I love LA Colors. I have raved about them and talked very highly about some of their products. So I decided to come on and this time just do a full face of LA Colors. Okay, so in this box, I have all my LA Colors. I'm gonna like wanna say LA Girl in this video so much. So first we need to start with primer. I am going to use the same primer that I used from my Dollar Tree video. If you have not seen that video, I'm gonna link it down below for you so that you can check it out. It, I actually really enjoyed it. <laughs> but this is the Smoothing Face Primer and it is Clearing Minimizing Pores. And I got this from Dollar Tree, obviously, for a dollar. Now I'm just gonna put this in my like pore areas and also in the corners of my mouth just so I can smooth my fine lines just a bit. Now, I actually like the smell of this. It smells really good. Um, it doesn't make a huge difference on the pores, but it does the job. Like, it's not like a dupe for, let's say like the Benefit Professional. It's definitely not a dupe for that. But, you know, it does the job, especially if you're just doing like a minimalistic look. It does the job. Then I'm gonna go in with the hydrating face mist and this is the cucumber set this is also from Dollar Tree I picked this up in a vlog video actually to test it out and I'm just gonna put this on my face to act like as a hydrating primer oh my gosh that smells so good <laughs> next I actually have a color corrector that I want to use this is the conceal and correct covering dark circles in the shade peach. I got this from Dollar Tree for a dollar, obviously. Okay, not gonna lie, I'm actually really impressed with this color corrector. It blended out beautifully. It covers really nicely. And I don't know, it looks pretty good, honestly. I'm not gonna lie, it covers pretty nice. Let's see, next we got our foundation. This is the Truly Matte Long Wearing High Pigmentation Foundation. I picked this up from Five Below. This is in the shade Golden Beige. This retails for $6. The packaging does feel kind of cheap, but I mean, <laughs> what did you expect for $6?
Now the shade might be just a tad bit too dark for me, but I actually kind of like it. It feels comfortable, it feels nice and creamy. It doesn't feel like heavy weight at all. And I don't know, it blended very nice on the skin. I do have some cream bronzers that I wanna do. Is the contour stick in the shade medium, this one. I got this in a video called um, Random Makeup I Found, I think it was the video. Honestly, I don't remember what the video was called. But it, it does feel like cheap packaging, but what I like about it is that it's a twist up. It's not a sharpening one, so I don't know. I just like the idea of it being able to twist up instead of like having to sharpen it over and over again and like it not being like scratched on you if you if it comes to the end and stuff like that i don't know i just like the idea of that it's already getting my seal of approval for application because it's not like picking up my makeup it's nicely settling on top of it on the foundation and it's like doing pretty well and it's very pigmented too so now we just gotta make sure it blends out nicely So what I noticed is that I'm gonna, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna add some more on this one. Because what I noticed is that when I just did the swiping motion, it blended into nothing. But if I do sort of like a padding back and forth motion, then it blends out really nicely. You see that? That looks really good, guys. I'm actually really loving this so far, guys. I'm actually really liking this. <laughs> okay, next. After cream bronzer, we are going to do concealer. I have two concealers because I wasn't sure like which one would look best. But I think we're going to go with this one. This one is the Ultimate Cover Concealer in the shade Honey. This retails for $5. And I also got this from Five Below. And I love how inexpensive all these products are literally i don't have anything here that's over i want to say that's over like eight dollars like i think maybe six dollars is like the most expensive thing i have here and that's the foundation and look how big that applicator is i love it when they look like that so i'm gonna apply that um it looks like it kind of looks the same color as my foundation so i might dip in a little bit into the other concealer that i have too just to brighten it just a little bit more so i'm just gonna go this is in the shade vanilla and i'm just gonna add just a tiny bit under the eye just to brighten it up just a little bit Guys, I'm really liking how this is looking. I am not joking. This is actually looking really better than I thought. Then I have two pressed powders uh, from LA Colors, duh. <laughs> and these are in the shade beige and tan. I wasn't sure which one to get, so I got both of them. These are both from Dollar Tree and um, for a dollar, obviously. Um, I got both of them because I wasn't sure which one would look best overall but what i'm thinking is that i'm gonna use the shade tan for the out of my face and then use this sorry i like dig my nail in there i don't even think you guys can see that the lights are so bright <laughs> but uh and i'm gonna use the shade beige under my eyes
actually doesn't look too bad on um, if like if I'm being honest for a one dollar pressed powder I will say there is a ton of fallout a ton <laughs> but that's okay you know like literally for a dollar you cannot be mad at it and the packaging is super flimsy super cheap but like still you can't be mad at it for a dollar and it actually set the face pretty nicely my skin looks super smooth it doesn't look cakey it doesn't feel cakey it feels very lightweight honestly i'm still loving how this looks it's like i'm kind like i knew i was gonna like love a bunch of products but like so far i don't hate anything like so far everything has been working so well and i'm kind of like blown away right now because this has never happened to me before and i'm like kind of excited <laughs> okay next what should we do we should do the brows so for brows i picked up two brow products this is the browy wowy brow pen in the shade dark and this is the browy wowy <laughs> tinted brow gel in the, also the shade dark i got both of these from five below and they both retail for three dollars Okay, now that we have the brows done, they don't look the best, but I was scared I was gonna ruin them. The brow pencil, it's, it's really, really rough. I was scared at first because it looks, this, the applicator and the product looks really brown, but once it applied, it did come out black, which I like, but it was like really, really rough. Like putting it on my skin, I don't know if you guys could tell, but like I was pressing pretty hard and literally i felt some of my eyebrow hairs coming up and like it i i didn't like it it was just too rough you know it was the product was just too hard if you want a brow pencil you want it to be nice a little bit creamy you know not too much but you want it to be able to glide against the eyebrow especially when you already have like your full face you know beat and done you don't want to ruin that so the pencil i'm not you know i'm not crazy about it did the job but it was just it was a lot of work you know the brow gel on the other hand is amazing it is really good it is like pitch black love that it you know it actually had good pigmentation so like it literally like coated my brow hairs black to like where the brow pencil couldn't reach and i love that so now i just need to wait to see if it actually sets the brow in place so we will keep going on next after brows let's go ahead and bronze up the face i have two bronzers these are the la color bronzers in the shade spice and natural um since i'm kind of a bit more tanner than usual right now <laughs> i think i should go with spice and these retail for let me check five dollars and i also got these from five below all right so the bronzer is very pigmented i really like that um it blends very easily and it looks it just looks really nice um there is a lot of fallout and kickback as well to this just like the pressed powders but it's it's not bad you know you just gotta tap out the access and it, i don't know i kind of like it it looks good i am a lot darker than i usually am and it's just because like the foundation just like oxidized a lot <laughs> and it kind of scared me I'm not gonna lie okay after we bronze, then we blush. This is the Rad Rogue blush in the shade Awesome. <laughs> this retails for $3.50 and I got this 
from Dollar General. So LA Colors actually has their own website and on there it's really cool is what you can do is you can order your products online and it actually tells you where you can find each product. So let's say you want to find this blush. It'll, it can tell you what store it is. So like let's say it's in a Dollar General. It's going to tell you what Dollar General near you has it. And if like you don't have a Dollar General near you, then it's going to tell you, you know, your nearest five below that has it. Or if your five below doesn't have it, it's going to tell you that your nearest, uh, where else do they sell these? I forget where else. Yeah, big lots, I think it said. But yeah, it's so, so that's just, like really cool. I was checking, because I was checking their website to do, um, to check all the prices and stuff. And I thought that was just so cool. And then actually some products, so like some like Dollar Tree products, you can only get at Dollar Tree. Or some products you can only get like at Five Below. So it says um, only available in store. So you actually had, so then you just press store locator and then it tells you which stores they are located at. And if you have a store like that near you that carries it. So that's really cool. I thought that was like something to mention because that's like, I think that's really cool. This is the LA Colors Through the Decades highlighter in the shade Jazzy. Now, I have heard so many good things about this highlighter and I thought this was the most beautiful thing I have ever laid my eyes on at the Dollar Tree store. And it was only a dollar. So your girl had to pick it up. Yo, guys, oh my gosh, guys, oh my gosh, guys, guys, are you seeing this blindingness? Now I will admit there is like little uh, flakes of glitter in it. So if you don't like glitter, this is definitely not the highlighter for you, but your girl loves to shine everywhere so this is freaking amazing oh my goodness do you guys see this oh my gosh guys i love this oh my gosh yes for a dollar you can't beat that that is amazing 10 out of 10 would recommend yes okay great <laughs> Next, we're just gonna do a quick like set of the spray or wait, set of the face. <laughs> and this is the setting spray and I love this setting spray. I also tried this out in my full face of Dollar Tree makeup and it is amazing. I loved it and I even compared it to like other like high-end no one, no known brands sorry i don't know why that was so difficult for me to say <laughs> and i really just really like that spray it sprays so well and it sets the face really nicely all right next we're gonna go on to eyeshadow now i have three eyeshadow palettes all three of them are from the dollar tree so they're all a dollar i have this one and if you didn't know they're all colorful ones this one and then of course this one this one is also from the dollar tree full face of dollar tree makeup i love this eyeshadow palette i raved about it it was really good really pigmented i loved it so i decided to pick up some more by them so first we have this little trio this is called the lotus trio it has a nice beautiful dark blue sort of like an aqua shade and then a nice shimmery gold then it comes with this which is going directly to the garbage then we have this cute little thing that has six colors. This is called Fling. And this one has two beautiful like aqua type shades, a dark blue, a light blue, a purple, and a pink into it. And it also comes with another thing, which is going into the garbage. I think the first color we're gonna use is just this nice blue corner one right here, the like light blue. And we're just gonna put this in the outer corner and in the crease.
Next, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna dip into this palette. This is the Supernatural palette. And I'm gonna dip into this like light darker blue. And I'm just gonna dip in there and just deepen the outer corner and the crease again. Okay, we're getting somewhere. I'm really excited. <laughs> I hate myself. Next, what I want to do is I want to dip into this darker blue here and then just like really deepen out that outer corner. But this time, don't really bring it into the crease that much. I'm going to go into this palette and use this middle blue one. It doesn't look as deep as the other blues, but let me just see if it'll, if it'll do something. I just want to see. Okay, it doesn't do much, but it did like deepen just a bit. Next, what I'm going to do is I'm going to cut my crease. So I'm going to go back in with the concealer in the shade Vanilla. And something just fell on me. Rude. <laughs> and I'm going to dip into... I want to say this purple one first. I'm going to dip into the purple one in the fling palette and just set it on the outside. Oh, that's not as deep as I was hoping it would be. Do you think if I use my finger it'll be more pigmented? Let me try. Get really. There we go. So using your fingers will definitely make it more pigmented. Then I'm going to go in with the pink in that same palette next to it. Put it on the inside like this. I just mess up my whole eye look. Maybe. Does it look weird? Yes. <laughs> yes, it does. I, I kind of like the pink better, but the pink and purple are kind of patchy, which I don't really like. Which is weird because the other shades weren't patchy. You know, it doesn't look that bad actually. It kind of looks like, it's like a nice little mermaid situation going on. Not too bad. But there is still quite a bit of fallout. Okay. Not too bad, not too bad. Okay, now we're just gonna do some buffing on the under eye. And now we're done with the look. I was going to put on some lashes. These are the uh, 3D mink lashes in the style Andy. That's what these look like. I got these from Walmart and they retail for $3.98. But I actually don't really feel like putting on lashes right now. So I'm not going to put them on. But I just thought I'd show you that they do have lashes. So that's really cool. Um, so I do have mascara primer. I got this from... Where did I get this? I got this from Dollar Tree for a dollar. I was so surprised when I saw this. I was like, eh, mascara primer. Don't mind if I do. Oh, I oh my gosh, I already love it. It's actually a hair bristle one, not a plastic. Oh my goodness. LA Colors is stepping up, guys. LA Girl is shaking. You know what? Forget the mascara, I know I don't like it. <laughs> so I'm just gonna go in with the Mascara Revolution by Makeup Revolution instead because I know I like this mascara. So I got that on. The reason why I didn't really care for the mascara is because it has plastic bristles and they're like really thick and like spreaded like apart pretty f like far. So they don't really coat the lashes very well. So I already knew I didn't like them and I don't like any of their mascaras because they're all pretty much like that. So I have yet to find one that I like, especially ones that have like like hairs like I was surprised like this did say it was new so I'm really excited that they changed like the wand situation for this one so hopefully they do that for their other like real mascaras too so I'm excited to see that what's next I think the last thing is just lips right is that all we need to do Ooh, we're almost done <laughs> this is the velvet lip mousse and this is actually so tiny I thought it was gonna be bigger but you know for a dollar what can you do
Alrighty guys, this is the finished look. Honestly, I don't hate it. The eyes are a little iffy, but I mean, I can make it work, you know? Like, if I act if I felt like putting the lashes on, I think it would actually come together. And yeah, honestly, I don't think it looks that bad. Not gonna lie. <laughs> um, my overall thoughts. This was actually really amazing. And I actually really, really liked all of these. <laughs> um, primers were good. They're, you know, they do, they get the job done. They're not like super, super great quality. But for a dollar, what are you going to do? The Hydrating Mist, love it. Like got millions of backups of it. Super great. Amazing to put in your purse, your wallet, whatever. And on the go and whatnot. Love it. Foundation. Feels really nice on the skin. Blended evenly all across the face. Um, set very well oxidizes a lot like literally <laughs> I literally think it took me like two shades darker maybe even three honestly uh, but you know take that as you will the color corrector that's not the color corrector where's the color corrector this is dangerous they, they look kind of the same but the color corrector is actually bigger than the liquid lip that's so weird just noticed that but the color corrector worked really well it concealed my darkness under my eyes and against the corners of my mouth really well and it blended like a dream like that's amazing love that really recommend it whenever you guys find it at the dollar tree didn't even know it existed until i found it uh let's see cream bronzer blended beautifully but remember to do like a tapping motion when blending don't just streak it because then it like blends into nothing uh, but that, love it, beautiful. Uh, let's see. Hmm. The powder, the powder actually works really nice. It set the face beautifully. And like my under eyes aren't creasing, you know, as badly as if I didn't put powder on. So that's really great. I really love that for them. <laughs> so I really like that. Okay. Mm -hmm. Come on, liquid lip. <laughs> powder bronzer. Went on very beautifully. It blends really nice onto the skin. It does have quite a bit of kickback. So does the pressed powder. But honestly... I don't really care about that as long as it as the application is amazing who cares they were both amazing and I love that let's see the blush the blush is really pigmented it's beautiful it blended really nice into the cheeks and the skin and it blended into the bronzer very nice as well so that's great uh the concealer the concealers were really nice um honestly I can't say anything bad about them they get the job done they covered up they concealed they brightened they did what they needed to do so that's great and my under eyes don't feel like dried or anything. Like they don't feel like super drying. So that's also really good as well. Um, what else? The three eyeshadow palettes. Uh, you guys already know I love this one. We'll keep using this until it's no longer usable. I did like the the blues in here. The purple and the pink just, just weren't it for me. The pigmentation on those just weren't as good as the blues. So that made me kind of sad. I did like the blue in this one. I will have to test out the gold and the aqua shade in this one some other time. What else? Brow pencil, didn't really like. It was way too rough. I felt like it was, I was pulling out my own eyebrow hairs. But the brow, um, the brow gel was actually really, really nice. It set my brows really nice. Like my brows are set in stone like they're not moving they're not going anywhere they're staying put and they tinted my brows so nicely i really really like this and how much was this three dollars that's a good deal i like that i 10 out of 10 would recommend <laughs> the highlighter i'm blown away look at this shine it is beautiful i love this for a dollar girl yes <laughs> It does have like little flakes of glitter into it. So if you're not into the glitterness, I wouldn't recommend it. But if you're like me, if you love shining for days, if you love being like that glow baby, big pop, like not that inner glow type girl, you're gonna love this. It's amazing. I love it. Uh, setting spray. I already love this setting spray. You guys already know. I'm gonna link the Dollar Tree video down below because <laughs> I think it's a good video. Uh, what, what's the last thing? Oh, the the mascara primer. It worked really well. I liked it. This is actually staying up here on my desk so I can keep using it because that's really good. So is the color corrector. Those are staying up here. 
so might the concealers honestly honestly a lot of this might be staying up on my desk because these actually worked really good um especially this brow gel i really like this brow gel i really like it uh what else what's the last thing i know there was one more thing oh right the liquid lip i don't like it um it has a really 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 strong chemically painty smell to it and i don't like it you can smell it as soon as you open it the application is super patchy i don't know if you guys can see it but literally like there's streaks all over my lips it looks like it i don't know it just looks put on unevenly and the lipstick keeps getting on my teeth i don't like it i don't like the i don't like the lip mousse no and this just shows you you do not need all that high-end stuff don't get into all that stuff that you need all like this you know all this gucci all this uh charlotte tilbury all this tart like no 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 no. you don't need it you can get la colors from the dollar tree okay i mean i'm not saying you have to but i mean they're good options do not hate on them just because they're in dollar tree or five below or walmart or whatever maybelline's in walmart too okay and they're in ulta shut up one day la colors is gonna be in ulta and i'm gonna be laughing at all y'all <laughs> all right guys um thank you so much for watching this video <laughs> if you liked it please make sure to give it a big thumbs up down below so i know and if you guys are not already subscribed to my channel i post every friday and i am doing vlogmas this year where i post every day uh for the first 25 days of the month for christmas so make sure you guys are checking that out and you're subscribed for those and yeah <laughs> sorry that came awkward but yeah honestly highly recommend checking out la colors products super amazing literally and super inexpensive you cannot go wrong with it i have found so many good things like even in this video you can check you got like literally first impressions and like already like good tried and true that i've already been using are great like guys i would not lie to you never ever <laughs> Alrighty, guys thank you so much for watching i love you guys so 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 much and i will see you next friday or in my vlog <laughs>